Okay, so I've been playing a lot of Deathloop and really obsessed with it lately, so I feel like I need to get some of my thoughts out. For those who don't know, it's a game by Arcane, the people behind Dishonored, uh, The Prey, The New Prey, and Dark Messiah. And I've been sort of binging their games lately. Uh, started with Arcs, Dark Messiah, Dishonored, Dishonored 2. Haven't played Prey yet, but besides that, I've played basically all their games. Basically, it's about an island where the, the same day happens over and over oh, again. Yeah, so, yep. You have to escape it by uh, get killing the people who are keeping it like going. But you have to all do all of them in one day, in the same day. So that's sort of like the main puzzle of trying to find out how to get them all within the small amount of time. Uh, so there are four time periods and four stages. Uh, so in the morning, noon, afternoon, evening, and you can go to any of them. Well, not any of them. There's some that are not available in certain uh, points of time, which I was kind of disappointed by that. Uh, I was expecting to be able to go to all of them in any time period, but oh well. Now, it's basically just kind of Dishonored 3, but without the... Because uh, uh, those games basically had a bit of a identity crisis with trying to be like a new Thief game, but the, they... Arcane's not very good at making stealth. At least not as good as Thief or Looking Glass. Although that's obvious because uh, Thief 2 is still like unmatched when it comes to stealth. But they're really, really good at combat because they made Dark Messiah, which is really good with combat. Um, although the Deathloop Kick isn't as fun to use as that one. Um, I actually barely used that. So you collect the... Uh, guns and the trinkets and the powers and you can uh, infuse oh, them good. and sort of get them permanently which can be a bit confusing if you don't know right exactly what you got but that's not too much of an issue unless you're trying to get absolutely everything which I am now because I'm that, I'm that obsessed with it that's actually what I'm doing in the footage a weird side effect of having uh, the game be mainly guns instead of like melee, like in Dishonored, is that you need to be able to use the iron sights, which is right mouse, shoot his left mouse. That means there's no uh, way to use the well, left hand uh, on there. So it's kind of awkward having to use mouse 3, which is the click wheel. So I've been using mouse 5, which is the one on the side on my like Logitech. It's still kind of awkward. But I feel like it's better because it's not like doing that. I basically never ran out of ammo, so that's not too much of an issue for me. Sadly, there's only oh, one really? actual way to complete the game and kill everyone in one day, which I was disappointed by because that's kind of the main like point of the game. So if you want to get all the endings, which I did, it's, it kind of gets a bit samey. It had quite a lot more replay value if you could do that in different ways, but I meant I get that for story reasons. But a Hitman style contracts mode or randomizer would be really, really good for this game. And this is coming from someone who doesn't really care about that sort of stuff. I hope someone will mod it in, but I it's uh, that's not very likely due to how like uh, complicated these games are to mod outside of like small, small things. But that would be really good. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is Juliana, who is the other playable character, because there's there's Colt, who you play the main game as, which is to kill all the people in the blue, uh, to stop it, but uh, Juliana will, you have to uh, protect the visionaries, and so you have to kill Colt, and it's kind of cool because you go into other people's uh, games as Juliana, if you turn it on. I turned Juliana off, or online mode off, for my first playthrough, but uh, it's definitely a better game with the invasion. Although it gets kind of weird sometimes, because uh, like two times in a row, uh, at the very end of the game, she went in, killed all the people I needed to kill, and just, and I, so I could just leave, which that was pretty funny, but anyway, uh, I've played a little bit as Juliana, and it's kind of boring, but in like a fun way, if you get what I mean. It's just sort of, uh, you wait for Colt, and it's very tense. 
and then you see him, and he kills you, and you don't get extra lives, he does, so that's a little bit hard. I wish you could find more games as her, because with the nature of this being a couple years old, and being mainly single player, it's kind of hard to get into a game, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. Although I've been able to get into quite a few. Okay, so when this first came out, it was kind of a joke, because... For some reason, it was getting a lot of Game of the Year awards, and it was kind of weird. Um, the only other game I played from 2020 was Going Under, and I'm not sure which I like more. I think I've played... I'm not sure which I played more of, but they both have really cool art styles, with uh, Deathloop having the 60s feel, and uh, Going Under having the Allegria, I think it's called, the Facebook-type art style. But, um, well, if I, the, one of my main complaints with Deathloop is replay value, so that's a, that'd be a good sign. Hang on. So this is just a short, like, video with basically no script. I just have, like, a couple sentences, and not even sentences, just sentence fragments, and that it, it was actually might, might have been worse without them, that uh, might have been... What is going on? MSN? Why do I keep getting NM MSN? Ugh. Man, that's annoying. Um, anyway. Mm. What was I saying? Oh. Yeah, it might have actually been better without the... Without any notes at all. Because this was kind of weird to put together. But... That's about all. I can... I don't have things to talk about. Uh, just a quick thing I want to throw together.